Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Um, this is your love reading for February 14th, uh, 1st through the 14th. We're going to go over the overall energy, what's going on for your current situation, why the issues were caused, um, your hopes and fears, and ultimately the outcome. Okay, so this could resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you guys want to book a personal reading, uh, please check out my website, which will be in the description. And with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, hop into this bad boy, okay? So this is for Leo couples, and then we'll do Leo singles next. First through the 14th, Leo couples, what's the overall energy for Leo couples? First through. Okay. Beautiful. What's the situation with Leo couples? What's going on with the situation for Leo couples? Okay. Why is this issue being caused for Leo couples? First of the 14th. Okay. What's the hopes and fears? Leo couples. Okay. And the outcome for Leo couples, first through the 14th of February. Oh, yeah, I'm here for it. <clears throat> Sorry. So, kind of weird, Leo. <clears throat> Sorry. Sound like that Kyrie, uh, what the hell is his last name? That basketball guy where he goes, uh-huh, that one. During like every interview, like his laugh is everything. Anyways. So I feel like um, gr making the effort, right? Great love is worth taking um, the steps you're, you, you're guided to take. Hello, can I read today? Possibly not. So how I feel right now is you guys are in a period where you guys have given a lot and now that person is making the effort to give you, you know, what you've given them, right? It's about reciprocation, okay? It's about, um, you know, that effort being made to make something work, okay? Because this, this love that you guys have for your partner right now is beautiful. And I feel like it's a very different type of love for you. It's a love where... It's like you're on cloud nine and you have no idea what's going to happen and you don't even care because this person is your person, which is beautiful, right? So why is this the situation? The fool is clarified by the fool. Can't get any more, you know. Thank you for that. Um... Why is this the cause of it? The Page of Wands. So yeah, the Page of Wands, Page of Swords. Why is this the hopes and fears? Three of Cups. Okay. <coughs> so it's weird, right? Um, and I don't know why I'm picking this up, but... You could be dealing with another fire sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, but with that being said, I feel like some of you guys may think you're pregnant with the full card. And I don't know why these look like two ovaries to me. Or maybe you think you may have got somebody pregnant. And it's like you're just kind of waiting, right, to find out. I also feel like you're in a place right now where... You don't know what's coming, like I said, and you don't necessarily care. It's like you're over here looking beautiful and you're just doing whatever you're guided to do by your guides and you're not even asking why, right? And I feel like it's because you're highly balanced right now. You're in a good place. Um, and you're in a place where you feel like you can take on multiple things right now, right? Right? Like you have this very charismatic energy about you and it's almost like not necessarily childlike because I mean, 
I, I don't want to say that, but it's, it's the mentality that we have when we're younger. Like I can do anything. Oh, you want to add a third one? Go ahead. Add a third one in here. You know what I mean? I'll juggle that shit too. It's kind of like that type of energy. And for you, it's like, I feel like you're in great shape right now. You feel great about yourself. Um, I feel like your emotions are very balanced. I do think you have highs and lows at times, but not as frequent as they usually are. And, you know, I just think you don't know what's coming and you don't care because you know you're going to handle it however, you know, whatever way it falls. Now, your fear or your hope, I take this as a fear almost. I feel like you're scared of the person you're with blocking you or cutting you out or dealing with a third party. I feel like that's definitely something you're worried about, right? Or, you know, you're worried that I feel like the Page of Swords could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but I feel like with them, it's like, you know that they hyper fixate, and it's almost like, are they, are they looking at your stuff? Are they watching it? Like, what are they doing? Meanwhile, you're over here minding your business with your cat and your rabbit. Um, but I do feel like, for whatever reason, there is a worry here about, you know, some type of third party situation. And I don't think you have anything to be worried about. It's like you're scared to go backwards, right? It's, it's like you've already come this, then you don't want to go backwards. So I think for you guys, honestly, you know, I think the fool, like, I do want to touch on this because this, the fool with the fool, I feel like that's saying something. It's like you and your partner, you guys are in the same place. It's not just you that's here. They're here too. And it's like they want to make it work. You know what I mean? Like this relationship is just as much as something completely different than anything that they've experienced. And it's beautiful. And I do feel like you're being guided by your guides. They're telling you something. And it could be to cut out your shit, right? Cut out the overthinking. Cut out the fact that you're thinking that there's another person. Um, it could be, you know, you need to um, have a forward motion, you know? Have hope and, you know, energy about moving forward with strength. Like, figure out what you want. Like, what are your dreams? Like, what are your needs? You know what I mean? Like, because that's happening here. This is all being manifested for you. And it's beautiful, okay? So if you guys want to find out the outcome, um, go ahead and click on the Vimeo below, Ace of Cups. Also, too, I don't know why I'm getting possible pregnancy strong here. Somebody thinks they're pregnant or, you know, um, I don't know. I just feel like there's a snake here for a reason and... Just want to throw that out there, so <clears throat> be aware. <laughs> All right. Um, if you guys want to click on the Vimeo link below, we're going to go over how does your partner feel about you, hopes uh, for the relationship, fears or apprehensions, um, what do they want from you, their next actions, and your advice as well as uh, your guys' outcome. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into Leo singles. Hey, how, how's it going? All right. First through the 14th, Leo singles, first through the 14th. Oh, actually, I gotta pull this one. What is the overall energy for Leo singles, first through the 14th? Leo singles, first through the 14th. Okay, stay optimistic. Okay, what is uh, the situation at hand for Leo singles? Oh, beautiful. I'm here for it. Yes. Okay. Why? Why is this the situation? <laughs> Hello. Why? Because of you. That's why this situation is going on. Because of you. Because you're over here looking like a whole snack, an entree, plus dessert. You guys are looking absolutely stunning. And you guys are radiating to the level you're supposed to. That's obvious with me, right? What's the situation? You. What's causing it? You, right? And these are all upright. So this is all about your energy being pure, right? 
What are their hopes or fears? What's Leo single's hopes and fears for the first year of 14? Okay. What's the outcome for the first or the 14th for Leo singles? Okay, well, that didn't flip back over. What's the outcome for Leo singles? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me clarify this and then we'll go ahead and hop into it, okay? Why is this causing it? Okay. King of Pentacles, beautiful. Okay. All right. So the sun, you guys could be definitely dealing with another Leo. Um, specifically, you guys could be dealing with an Aries, Sag, um, possibly a Gemini with the Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles, um, probably Capricorn, um, Scorpio, or I'm sorry. Yeah, I think, hmm, no, not really Scorpio. Capricorn, Taurus, or sometimes I think of the devil, honestly, though. Like, sometimes I think of that as Scorpio. Especially with the whips and chains, it's like, eh, it's kind of, to me personally, feels like a little Scorpio energy, but um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? So this is about you staying optimistic. I feel like you guys went through a period where you cut off, you know, you blocked somebody that wasn't making you happy, right? It was somebody that was putting you in a space where, you know, you were very much in your head too much right and, and it was a period that you weren't sleeping and it, it was just really really upsetting you so you know you had to make the decision right with this queen of wands you had to make the decision to cut it um and i feel like that was the very right thing to do you know it's like you block that person from your happiness it's like if you want to put me in this nine of swords then you're getting blocked right and she's sitting here like, nobody's going to fuck with me. Nobody's going to take away from my shine. And if you plan to, you're done because I don't need you. Because there's only one sun in the sky right now. And it's me, right? Um, I feel like you're worried right now about this king of pentacles. Or you're curious, right? Like, you're like, what is he thinking? What secrets are is he holding? Um, or maybe it's you. Like, do I divulge information or do I not? Right? She's sitting there very much like she's asking him, like, hey, why should I take you? Right? And it could be that you're hoping for this king of pentacles to approach you in a manner where you're in control. I feel like the high priestess is highly in control. I feel like she manifests um, things very, very, very quickly because she knows herself. She's highly intuitive and, you know, she understands that her thoughts, you know, transmits into, you know, real life actions. So for you, I feel like you guys cut this dead weight, right? And now what you're hoping for is that this person that you've kind of been like telepathically hitting up, that he's going to come for you, right? Or it could be that the person from your past comes in. But I honestly don't feel like this is somebody, um, I, don't feel, I don't feel like that's somebody you necessarily know. I feel like this is somebody that's a new start, right? It's somebody probably from work, possibly. And could be a boss, um, could be somebody who's highly like, you know, well off. But you guys right now, for whatever, for whatever reason, um, <clears throat> You're conjuring this person, not to sound like, you know, the craft, but you guys are putting your intentions out there and he's coming, right? There's a level of attachment coming. And I don't necessarily think that this is bad. Like, I know people see the devil and they're like, oh, that's not good. Well, I, I kind of like it though, honestly. 
I feel like it's like two people who are just as much attached to each other as the other one, but I won't know until we clarify it. But I do think that this is lovely. I really, really do. I think we're pushing out the shit. Goodbye. Whoever put you in this, you're like, oh no, time to set shit on fire. Goodbye. Back to my happiness. And now here you are, single, ready to mingle, and optimistic about your love life, okay? So with that being said, um, if you guys want to follow me over to Vimeo, let's go ahead and do so. The questions I'm going to ask are, how does your partner feel about you? Their hopes um, about the relationship, their fears, um, what do they want from you, your advice, and then ultimately this outcome. Okay, guys? So with that being said, uh, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a wonderful first half of February. Bye!